It's an early, rainy morning in Seattle, and along this busy road, a familiar sign beckons sleepy drivers in. But this Starbucks is different. Instead of plush couches and a coffee house atmosphere, there are industrial materials flanked with drive through and walk up windows. It's an idea that all started with architect Anthony Perez just looking out his window. We are uh, privileged to be in Seattle. Uh, in one of the busiest harbors um, on the West Coast. Seas of shipping containers waiting to find their way to a scrapyard became Perez's inspiration. This was the perfect opportunity to try a new usage, a new material that would work for us as a building block um, for inspired design. Perez says sustainability isn't anything new to Starbucks, but at only 137 square metres, this reclamation store was a way for them to take it one step further. We're very, very much committed to the environment and making sure that everything that we're doing is, is LEED certifiable. We're starting to apply a lot of that thinking now to the outside for the very first time. How do we bring that to life for our customers in a way that they are engaging, in, in a way that is there as, as part of an experience for them? Being LEED certified guarantees that buildings meet certain sustainability standards, and Perez made sure this was integrated throughout the store's entire experience. We've got a 40-foot container on the bottom, two 40-foot containers up on top, a 16-foot hammerhead that's got the drive-through and the, and the walk-up window on either side, the leftover parts we used for everything else. These are opened up on both ends and allow the air to easily flow over the HVAC and create shade inside the units. All of the grasses are indigenous grasses that are from this area. So this is, uh, this is what we call the wordle. It's about reinvestigating ideas and words that are associated with re, uh, renew, revive, re-inspire, recreate, realize. Uh, the idea, the word, uh, originates with a cycle and that's really what this store is all about. With its modular design, Perez was able to replicate the idea in Denver, Colorado. This was the basic box. And going forward, we're looking at making sure that there are other ways of expressing this type of idea, but making it feel more local. Perez softened the industrial look using local materials so the store would match its surroundings. The Denver location is, is wrapped in Wyoming snow fencing on the outside. Still a container, but it's recycled, reclaimed material. So we're, we have a recycled box and then reclaimed material that's on the outside of that. Customers love, you know, that really is engaging. Nice, there you go. Have a good day, thank you. Good for customers and good for the environment, according to the government-sponsored agency that champions sustainable development. Uh, our buildings represent 40% of our carbon emissions 70% of our electricity use. So building green is critical, and with green buildings, we can cut that in half. She says a company with Starbucks profile can make a big impact. They've done a great job in spreading the word about the environmental value, the social value, and the business value of green building. We're kind of stunned to see the response to the stores. There's a lot of curiosity about it. The business has been quite robust. And I think it's also, uh, I think, a reflection of the fact that we want to be as innovative as possible in the things that we do and how we bring Starbucks to the market. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You it is for now just a pilot project with two stores built, but Starbucks says there will be more. The end goal for me as a designer is that people feel affection for their stores, that they go in and they feel connected to their stores. On the outside, if somebody comes through a drive through and they say, this is my Starbucks and they love it, you know, we've, we've done our job. You'll feel successful. Michael Holmes, CNN, Atlanta.